Welcome to new techno news channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. An icon of the latter decades of the Cold War, the B-1B Lancer was originally designed as a strategic nuclear bomber with a mission to fly at low altitude in order to avoid Soviet early warning radars. With the end of the Cold War, the B-1B Lancer has been adapted to carry conventional munitions and has been used extensively in close air support and tactical bombing missions. The B-1B is equipped with 4X General Electric F-101 GE-102 afterburner turbofan engines. The aircraft is operated by four crew members, the aircraft commander, co-pilot and two weapons system officers. Having an intercontinental range, the B-1B can reach speeds of up to 900 miles per hour. The ammunitions that the B-1B can hold are as follows. 84 500 pound MK-82 or 24 2000 pound MK-84 general purpose bombs, up to 84 500 pound MK-62 or 8 2000 pound MK-65 quick strike naval mines, 30 cluster munitions or 30 wind corrected munitions dispensers, up to 24 2000 pound GBU-31 or 15 500 pound GBU-38 joint direct attack munitions, up to 24 AGM-158A joint air to surface standoff missiles, GBU-15 54 laser joint direct attack munition, carrying the largest payload of both guided and unguided weapons in the Air Force inventory. The multi-mission B-1 is the backbone of America's long-range bomber force. It can rapidly deliver massive quantities of precision and non-precision weapons anywhere in the world. The B-1B's blended wing, body configuration, variable geometry wings and turbofan afterburning engines, combine to provide long-range, maneuverability and high speed while enhancing survivability. Forward wing settings are used for takeoff, landings, air refueling and in some high-altitude weapons employment scenarios. Aft wing sweep settings, the main combat configuration, are typically used during high subsonic and supersonic flight, enhancing the B-1B's maneuverability in the low and high-altitude regimes. The B-1B's speed and handling characteristics allow it to seamlessly integrate in mixed force packages. These capabilities, when combined with its substantial payload, excellent radar targeting system, long loiter time and survivability, make the B-1B a key element of any joint, composite strike force. The B-1 is a highly versatile, multi-mission weapon system. The B-1B's synthetic aperture radar is capable of tracking, targeting and engaging moving vehicles as well as self-targeting and terrain following modes. In addition, an extremely accurate global positioning system aided inertial navigation system enables air crews to navigate without the aid of ground-based navigation aids as well as engage targets with a high level of precision. The Combat Track 2 radios provide a secure beyond line of sight reach back connectivity until Link-16 is integrated on the aircraft. In a time-sensitive targeting environment, the aircrew can use targeting data from the Combined Air Operations Center over Combat Track 2 then to strike emerging targets rapidly and efficiently. This capability was effectively demonstrated during operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. The B-1B's onboard self-protection electronic jamming equipment, radar warning receiver, ALQ-161, and expendable countermeasures, chaff and flare, system and a towed decoy system, AL-50, complements its low radar cross-section to form an integrated, robust defense system that supports penetration of hostile airspace. The ALQ-161 electronic countermeasure system detects and identifies the full spectrum of adversary threat emitters then applies the appropriate jamming technique either automatically or through operator inputs. Current modifications build on this foundation. Radar sustainability and capability upgrades will provide a more reliable system and may be upgraded in the future to include an ultra-high resolution capability and automatic target recognition. The addition of a fully integrated data link, or FIDL, will add Link 16 communications capability. FIDL combined with associated cockpit upgrades will provide the crew with a much more flexible, integrated cockpit, and will allow the B-1 to operate in the fast-paced integrated battlefield of the future. Several obsolete and hard-to-maintain electronic systems are also being replaced to improve aircraft reliability.